On November 13th, four University of Idaho students were found deceased in their off-campus home after being stabbed with a knife. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about an article in Idaho Tribune where a local taxi driver is speaking about the area that the four University of Idaho students lived in. In this article, they also share this tweet from the Idaho Tribune with a video attached, so I'm going to play that for you now. This is the article. I will link it down in the description below. It is titled, Area Where Four University of Idaho Students Were Murdered Was Known Party Spot. Taxi Driver Says That's Where People Go to Get Drugs. Note that this article does not say their house. This is the area they lived in. The area of Moscow, Idaho, where four University of Idaho students were murdered earlier this month is a known party spot, says local taxi driver who added that that's where people go to get drugs. Our reporters on the ground just days after the murders could hear loud revelers next door to the home where investigators continue searching for clues. Speaking to the Idaho Tribune, a local taxi driver claims that the area where the four University of Idaho students were murdered is a known party spot, adding, that's where people go to get drugs. I used to drive people there all of the time. It's a known party spot. Everyone knows that area is where people go to get drugs. Jeremy Reagan, a law student who lives near the home where the murders took place, told Fox News that the victims would often have gatherings and added that people went in and out of the house frequently. Parties were kind of loud, says Reagan. Take my dog in and out to go to the bathroom. I would see people in the windows almost every night, probably four or five nights a week. It was kind of a party house, but then again, this whole neighborhood is a party neighborhood. This could make forensic detectives' jobs more difficult as there could be dozens, possibly hundreds, of samples of DNA left over from previous gatherings. I want to touch on something else as well. I've seen a lot of talk about the two surviving roommates having heard something that night. And I believe where this information is coming from is from this article in the Yakima, I believe, Herald Republic. This is the title of the article and it was posted on November 19th. Now, this is actually a quote from Ethan's mother. The two roommates were home at the time of the killings, police have said. The roommates heard something, according to Chapin's mother, Stacy, though she did not get into details. She also says in this article, they were stabbed. We got the call, Chapin said. I don't want people to make assumptions about our kids. It wasn't drugs and it was definitely not some passion thing between these kids. Someone entered the house. I've seen in my comments people bringing up Zana's mother's arrest and yes she was arrested on November 19th for possession of a controlled substance. It's now hit a couple articles and mainstream media but whether that has anything to do with what happened to these four victims is still unclear. Just from browsing Zana and her sister's social media accounts it doesn't appear that they may even had a relationship with their mother. There are pictures of them with their father, but I haven't seen any with their mother, especially on important days such as her graduation. So we don't know for sure if their mother was even a part of their lives. And I'm sure this is a very touchy and painful subject for the family, especially at a time like this. Addiction is a very serious and very hard thing to struggle with. And if her mother is in fact struggling with addiction, I would imagine that this situation, finding out that your daughter has passed away, is a huge trigger. So just keep in mind that we don't know for sure if her mother was actually in her children's lives or if this is in fact connected. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon to get notifications for when I post.